So for a while, you've been using IntelliJ as your main IDE for Java, and you are trying now to endeavor into the Android development. The problem lies that you don't want to have to download Android Studio, which is essentially the same as IntelliJ, just to be able to develop one part of your projects. So right now, we're going to focus on how to utilize IntelliJ for developing your traditional Java projects and your new Android projects. <laughs> So let's launch IntelliJ and create a new project. And this is like a brand new, brand new install. Typically, uh, it has this tab that says in, uh, Android. And if you don't have anything, it will ask you to install the SDK. And I hope that it would be that uh, easy. And let's in the meantime, download our Android SDK and install it. Okay, so then we go and proceed into creating a new application where um, we can put like whatever uh, my app dot my whatever domain and then you name it, I don't know, my first Android app. Let's call it my first Android app. And let's call the same thing on the application. Uh, let's just we do something like this where we have filled up all the values the application name is important that it, you know it, it's something that you understand and it's also the the name of the app like facebook whatsapp whatever that's the name of the app company domain is you know in the case of facebook it would be facebook but in some others or or uh, um, google whatever.com in just choose whatever domain name that either you own or something that you know represents you that it's unique and it won't collide and the, and the other one is where it's going to store it so then uh you can choose whatever uh version of the sdk you want to choose i'm going to go for number for oreo uh it's not the latest but it's the the latest uh stable build right now uh and i'm going to choose that it's going to be displayed on a phone and a tablet i'm not i'm going to ignore where tv auto and things for now and for now i'm going to generate now an empty activity and any normal human being would think that just creating that that would be enough for your project however there are a couple of other things that you need to do well first of all the fact that we didn't have the version of uh the SDK, we needed to install it. Fortunately, uh, the wizard did that for us when we selected the latest version of uh, the 27. First things first, uh, the toolbar is a little bit incomplete. So what we gotta do is that we have, to, and this is something, you know, by default, the, the IntelliJ is doing this it's showing it this way so what we are going to do is that we're going to um, we're gonna do view and this appears you know it was like all tucked in but we want it more visible first things first we gotta also make sure in case that you are running an older version of Android that in the build section if you go into to the build tools gradle you are running uh, the the latest version that it is supporting properly right now is 1.8 so you gotta select that one and uh, since in this case it's it's fine what we gotta do then afterwards is to sync our project with gradle files and that's gonna just make sure that all the dependencies and everything is properly met the next thing to do is to go into this little icon that has a tiny little Android guy and what looks like a phone and this is for creating the virtual devices so we click that and then so one of the things that we are seeing is that uh it's gradle and all the build tools are complaining that the, that it doesn't have the proper build tools and you can see it right here in the in the console window so what we are going to do is that we're going to uh, figure out why. So if we go into project structure, we can then go into the SDKs tab right here. 
and then we're gonna see that Android 28 platform was installed rather than 27 which is what I thought I wanted so I'm gonna remove that and then I am going to go into file preferences and then I'm going to under the appearance and behavior tab here then system settings then Android SDK I'm gonna select the one that it's Android 27 and I'm gonna remove this guy so I'm going to download it and it's gonna download everything that I need and continue downloading so that I can then connect it into our Android project okay so we have downloaded everything we hit apply, we go OK, and now we're going to configure our project with the, the Android SDK saying that, uh, yeah, we're going to go into our Android SDK library, Android SDK. That's the default path that on, on a Mac does it so if I go and click open it's found that it's Android 27 and I can hit apply we just click on that link and it's going to help us download the, the, the software that we need. okay so now we have the build tools now that it's syncing it's going through all this proper downloading making sure that all the tools that were needed for this were correct and it's starting to verify and download all the things necessary so now that it downloaded the thing properly now that gradle sync happened now we can go into our configurations which we had here if we go and run it let's just click edit configuration now it has the module that it's app and it's going to essentially run it. This module is the app one. So it's detecting the proper Android places to deploy it. It found that this one is alive because we have initialized it. And then we send it there. And now we have a beautiful Hello World app.